okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question a wave of period 10 millisecond travels through a medium the graph shows the variation of particle displacement with the distance for the wave okay so first of all we know that uh, the equation of a wave is somewhat like this a sine omega t minus kx so in this equation what is happening y is the displacement of the particle which becomes the function of the position as well as time that is if this is the starting point i will say now this is the variation of the distance so you can say that this is the position so literally the wave will be looking like this all the particles like this is a different particle 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 all the particles are different first of all try to imagine this wave try to understand what kind of graph is this now let us talk about this particle i'm talking about the particle p now this particle p will go up and it will reach the this extreme position and then it will start moving down it will reach the mean, mean position and then it will go even further down and then further up further down further up so the particle will be at one particular location and it will keep on moving in this fashion so this is basically not the wave but simple harmonic motion it's just an oscillation but if we talk about the wave, there are so many of the particles, the wave is moving like this. Wave is moving like this. So there is a traveling disturbance. But what about the particles? You see, what is the motion of my hand? So the motion of the hand is up and down. So this is what the particle is doing. Now the question is very clever. They are confusing you by talking about the wave and they have literally given you the graph of a wave and they are asking you the question from the oscillation. Now the question is, what is the average speed of particle? There are two different things, the speed of particle and speed of wave. The speed of wave is given by lambda divided by t or we can say that it is equal to omega by k where omega is the angular frequency and k is the propagation constant that is 2 pi by lambda so this is the equation of a wave velocity of wave but the question wants you to find velocity of particle velocity of particle that even average so if you want to find this you have to find the total distance traveled by the particle divided by the total time taken so if we're considering the particle p what is the total distance it travels in one time period let us say this is the mean position so it goes from mean to extreme then extreme to back mean mean to the other extreme and then back to the mean it means the distance is given as four centimeters so four up four down that is eight and then again eight so 16 centimeter is the total distance that will be traveled by the particle in one period. So we can say it will be 16 centimeter. Now what is the total time taken? So time taken by the wave is same as that of the time taken by the particle. So this same thing will be used here. So it will be 10 milliseconds. So uh, how to solve this now? So it will be 16, we have to convert centimeter into meter. So this will be 10 and this, it will become one, two and three. So now we will cancel each and everything. So it will become 16 meter per second in the SI units. So this is how we do it. The question is, I would say a very beautiful question asked very cleverly. So this is one of the very important questions. So you need to practice these questions multiple times. Okay, so this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share the YouTube channel with maximum number of your friends. All the best.